A rocket must overcome layers of gravity during launch, shedding tens of tons of fuel. Yet, it can precisely deliver a few hundred kg probe into a deep space orbit, billions of km away. How does it achieve this? First, let's dispel an intuitive misconception. A rocket doesn't fly straight to Mars, Jupiter or the solar system's edge. It places the probe into a perfectly tuned orbit, letting it glide on the universe's orbital highway, master of orbital mechanics. German astronomer Kepler told us 400 years ago, celestial bodies move in elliptical orbits around the sun. This is Kepler's first law. If you calculate the initial speed and direction correctly, the probe will naturally glide to its destination. NASA scientists liken this to throwing an orbital boomerang from Earth to travel billions of km and hit the space goalpost in front of Mars. This precision makes the World Cup jealous. The rocket's role is actually just to accelerate at launch, pushing the probe out of Earth's gravity. Take Ariane 1 and New Horizons as examples. After leaving Earth, they separate from the rocket, influenced by Earth's and Sun's gravity, guiding the subsequent interstellar journey. At this point, the probe is in free fall, on a precisely calculated orbit within the solar system. It doesn't need constant thrust to accelerate, relying on initial velocity and orbit design. So how do we ensure this one push hits the mark? The core lies in three things. First, launch window calculation. The probe can't launch any time. It must wait for Earth and the target planet to align at a favorable angle for launch, called the launch window. For example, the Mars launch window occurs only once every 26 months. Second, is velocity adjustment. The rocket's final stage performs a precise orbit change at a specific altitude and time, placing the probe into a Hohmann transfer orbit. This is a most energy-efficient interplanetary orbit transfer method. Third, is mid-course correction. Even with a precise orbit, minor trajectory adjustments are needed en route, using small thrusters a few times. These corrections are usually planned days or hours in advance. If the error is too large, the probe might miss its target forever. So launching a probe into space isn't about brute force, but precise calculation, clever pushing and fine navigation, stable corrections for a successful mission, backed by thousands of scientists, decades of technological accumulation, and a deep understanding of cosmic orbits.